हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न दैट हाउ द सोलर रेफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम वर्क्स ओके सोलर रेफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम इज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ वेपर एब्जॉर्बन साइकिल इन विच द हीट ऑफ सन रेज इज यूज फॉर इट्स वर्किंग ओके वेपर एब्जॉर्बन साइकिल इज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल ओके बाय द हेल्प ऑफ विच विदाउट एनी कंप्रेसर बाय द हेल्प ऑफ हीट ओनली we can develop refrigeration effect so first i will explain you that how the vapor absorption cycle works and at the end i will tell you that how to modify that vapor absorption cycle and convert it into solar refrigeration system so let's learn i will especially talk about the aqua ammonia system okay aqua ammonia system the vapor absorption cycle based on aqua ammonia system okay so i will like to tell you that uh, vapor absorption cycle is a sort of refrigeration cycle in which there is no need of compressor okay i believe that you all know that how vapor compression cycle works but still i will like to refresh you for the same that is vapor compression cycle vapor compression cycle consists of four main components those are the compressor the condenser the expansion valve and the evaporator so what is the job of compressor it compresses the refrigerant okay over here suppose ammonia is used as a refrigerant so this compressor compresses the refrigerant and sends to the condenser in the condenser the ammonia loses its latent heat to the atmosphere and becomes liquid okay when the ammonia comes out the refrigerant comes out and reaches the condenser it is in vapor phase but when it passes through the condenser ultimately it becomes liquid by losing the latent heat of vaporization ultimately this compressed refrigerant is passed through the expansion valve the pressure again reduces and the ammonia reaches the evaporator in the evaporator what happens it absorbs the latent heat of vaporization and again becomes vapor okay it is entering the evaporator in liquid form and ultimately coming out in vapor form so what happens since it is absorbing latent heat of vaporization so this evaporator region cools so this is the place where actual cooling action takes place now this vapor ammonia or refrigerant goes to the compressor bag and again the compressor compresses the refrigerant sends to the condenser the refrigerant rejects the latent heat the refrigerant then passes through the expansion valve reaches the evaporator here it absorbs the latent heat again becomes vapor like this way the vapor compression cycle works okay in vapor absorption cycle what happens that the job of this compressor is eliminated i am talking about the aqua ammonia system okay aqua ammonia type of vapor absorption system so how the job of this compressor is eliminated i am going to tell see ammonia has a property that in case ammonia is mixed with cold water it is readily soluble means the affinity of ammonia to dissolve in water when the water is cold is high it is highly soluble in cold water okay so over here i am showing a vessel in which there is cold water and ammonia pass is taking place so ammonia is ultimately mixing up with this water so this mixture is called as aqua ammonia solution the ammonia mixed in cold water now in case aqua ammonia solution is heated by the help of supplying heat in case aqua ammonia system is heated the ammonia is again liberated with high pressure over here you can see that this is the vessel inside which the aqua ammonia system is there and we are providing heat so ammonia is separated from the liquid water and collecting over the top with high pressure in vapor compression cycle what is the job of compressor it takes the refrigerant inside with low pressure at suction pressure and ultimately delivers with high pressure okay so over here what i told you that in case ammonia is mixed with cold water then it is highly soluble with cold water and in case aqua ammonia solution is heated the ammonia is liberated from water with high pressure over the top okay now here what i am doing you can see from the vapor compression cycle the compressor part is removed okay here in vapor compression cycle there is the compressor but here i have removed the compressor now what i am doing this is the entire vapor absorption system aqua ammonia based okay instead of compressor there is a generator absorber system you can see generator absor absorber system in the absorber what is happening see ammonia is coming from the evaporator ultimately coming out from this evaporator so this ammonia is mixed in the absorber in the absorber what is there cold water is there so ammonia is highly soluble in cold water you can see it is mixing in absorber by the help of a pump aqua ammonia system okay over here since ammonia is dissolved in water it is called as strong solution okay now this aqua ammonia solution by the help of pump is sent to a generator okay in the generator what happens heat is supplied 
so in cold water ammonia is soluble but when heat is supplied in the generator the ammonia is liberated from the cold water and collects over the top of this liquid water with high pressure okay now what is the job of compressor the job of compressor is to compress the ammonia in case we are using ammonia as a refrigerant taking the ammonia with low pressure and delivering it with high pressure so over here the job has been accomplished that in cold water ammonia is soluble and when it is sent to the generator over here heat is given so ammonia is liberated and collects over the top with high pressure this high pressure ammonia is sent to the condenser here it liberates the heat and ultimately comes out in liquid form okay condensed ammonia comes out ultimately passes through the expansion valve and then passes to the evaporator over here it absorbs the heat okay and becomes the vapor back this vapor is again going to this absorber again mixing with cold water by the help of pump sent to the generator over here it is liberated okay like this way the cycle completes now what happens by the help of the pump this aqua ammonia solution is sent to this generator so in this absorber ammonia is absorbed in liquid water so it is called a strong solution when this strong solution is sent to the generator over here heat is added so ammonia is liberated so this solution is called as weak solution because less amount of ammonia is now in dissolved form with this liquid water this comes back to this absorber by the help of a return duct so here this is a cyclic process happening in this generator and absorber system okay so by this way the job of compressor is eliminated because high pressure ammonia is developed by the help of application of heat only okay this is an indicative diagram of vapor absorption cycle there are many more components also added for improving the performance and the efficiency of this cycle but you would have understood what is the vapor absorption cycle aqua ammonia system based now one more thing that to keep this absorber water cool a coolant pass is given it is acting as an heat exchanger means a coolant is supplied to this absorber by the help of this duct a sort of heat exchanger arrangement so it takes away the amount of heat so that this water remains in cool temperature okay now this type of refrigeration system is used where generally this type of refrigeration system is used in industries where waste heat is available because the job of compressor is totally eliminated by the help of action of heat itself we are developing a refrigeration effect in the evaporator okay so in case in any industry there is a spare amount of heat available means this the heat which we have to lose in the environment so by the help of that heat itself we can develop the refrigeration effect as well as in case we want to develop a solar refrigeration system then also this type of refrigeration system is helpful because in that case what happens this absorber is kept in some cold area and this generator is kept in sunny area means where sunlight is available either direct sunlight is available or by the help of concentrating arrangement more amount of sunlight is focused to the generator so that uh, the action can take place that is the liberation of ammonia from this liquid water and this absorber is kept cool by the help of coolant pass like this you might be thinking that however we have removed the compressor but here pump is there okay and pumps require electrical energy same like that of compressor the pump also requires electrical energy for its operation but the amount of electrical energy required by the pump is very less compared to that of compressor okay so with very less amount of electrical power input we can develop higher amount of refrigeration effect okay in case we are using the compressor that is in vapor compression cycle we use the compressor the amount of power required by this compressor is quite high compared to that of we are using only a pump with this generator absorber system and for working of this vapor absorption cycle so we have learned that how vapor absorption cycle works which is aqua ammonia based okay so what happens in vapor absorption cycle we know this thing that in the generator the heat is absorbed okay and in from the absorber the heat is removed okay so what happens that heat can be supplied to the generator by the sun rays okay this is so simple this is what solar based vapor absorption cycle is or we can say it as solar refrigeration system it is simple that in the generator instead of supplying heat from some other means direct sun rays are made to fall over the generator okay this is the principle so the same refrigeration effect will be developed in the evaporator okay so we can expose the generator to the sun rays as well as by the help of concentrating collectors more amount of sun rays can be made to fall over the generator so that sufficient amount of heat can be absorbed by it and the required amount of refrigeration effect can be developed in the evaporator so this is what the principle of solar refrigeration system so hope you would have understood the same thank you